missile age is here. A new and grim challenge to the free world. A challenge to our very survival. We must keep ahead of communist efforts, efforts to dominate the world. We must have missiles, missiles of all types for all purposes, to protect our own country, to protect the free nations of the world, to preserve peace. A small group of civilians, including this private citizen from Farmington, Connecticut, is invited to visit the missile testing center at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Here, tremendous progress is being made in this vital field. Notice the man on the roof of the truck. He'll pilot a drone plane for the takeoff until radar picks it up. A hangar opens. A supersonic Beaumont ground-to-air interceptor missile is set in firing position. the drone plane is constantly plotted. The Bomark is a defense missile that can be fired by remote control from hundreds of miles away. Its accuracy is incredible. The Bomark climbs skyward from its launcher. Remote control cameras follow missile and plane. The missile streaks toward the plane. But just as it is about to strike, it is purposely directed to veer off to save the target for other tests. NARC, first of the intercontinental missiles to reach operational stage. Flying under conditions simulating actual operations, the SNARK has delivered its payload right on target, 5,000 miles away with remarkable accuracy. The SNARK can place a nuclear warhead on targets anywhere in the world. Because of our bases overseas, we have a big edge with our intermediate range missiles like the Jupiter, each within range of vital targets. Explorer, Jupiter C, launches a satellite into orbit. is fired from an F-3D and hits a B-17 drone plane. supersonic beam rider using a solid propellant. It can be fired from fighter planes, either singly or in rapid sequence salvos, and is guided to its target by radar.
proving grounds an honest John is fired. A long-range artillery rocket, it will provide close tactical fire support in ground combat. A B-29 goes aloft with an XQ-5 supersonic missile attached to be released for target practice. A Nike Hercules is placed in firing position to intercept the XQ-5. the B-29. its target. A Polaris missile is successfully launched from the deck of a converted transport. Compression chambers in our submarines will be able to hurl the Polaris carrying an atomic warhead over 1,200 miles. An Atlas missile is prepared for firing. weapons in war, a war in which nobody wins. But the communist threat to world peace compels us to be on guard, keep our powder dry, and be ready with the forces and the weapons to counter any aggression, effectively and conclusively. Our Army, our Air Force, our Navy and Marine Corps all play a vital and mutually supporting role in the complex business of world military supremacy. From 30 caliber rifles to mighty missiles, today's army weapons can blanket the battlefield. Our trained infantry will advance under covering fire. SS-10 missile that can seek out and destroy enemy armament.
artillery will maintain fire superiority while the infantry advances. Covering fire is provided by helicopters armed with machine guns. TV records the tide of battle as it happens on a closed circuit to the commander in rear. Our air power, tactically and strategically trained, is a dominant factor in any possible war. Planes like the F-105 Republic Thunder Chief, with one of the most powerful turbo jets known to exist. Starfighter, with its supersonic speed and versatility, is believed to be the world's best tactical fighter. An all-weather interceptor, now in strength with our tactical and air defense commands, holds records for speed, altitudes, and time to climb at the same time. defense or attack take off day and night on different missions. Submarines or to transport troops. A briefing session between Commander Harper and Citizen Hunter. Glimpse. Sentinels on watch to scan the skies for possible air intruders or to probe electronically beneath the sea for lurking submarines. Sentries with dual mission capabilities. Destroyers. Important members of each task force can zero in on their target and fire the effective Alpha weapon. This guppy type getting ready to die. Or our new atomic 
submarines like the Sea Wolf, or the Nautilus, en route to the Arctic, or the Skate, as it comes up through the ice at the North Pole. Skipper Anderson at the Cunning Tower. submarine capability is achieved with the launching of the George Washington. It can carry 16 Polaris missiles that can be fired with great accuracy from under the surface. Our fighting marines on an assault helicopter carrier move up on deck to board their copters for a beach assault. weapons like the Ontos, massing for a simulated attack on strong points. Yes, in this rapidly changing world in which we are living, we hope the use of missiles will never be necessary. A small group of civilians, including this private citizen from Farmington, Connecticut, is invited to visit the missile testing center at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Here, tremendous progress is being made in this vital field. Notice the man on the roof of the truck. He'll pilot a drone plane for the takeoff until radar picks it up. Opens. A supersonic Beaumont ground-to-air interceptor missile is set in firing position. The path of the drone plane is constantly plotted.
The BOMARC is a defense missile that can be fired by remote control from hundreds of miles away. Its accuracy is incredible. The BOMARC climbs skyward from its launcher. Remote control cameras follow missile and plane. The missile streaks toward the plane. challenge to the free world, a challenge to our very survival. We must keep ahead of communist efforts, efforts to dominate the world. We must have missiles, missiles of all types for all purposes, to protect our own country, to protect the free nations of the world, to preserve peace. Just as it is about to strike, it is purposely directed to veer off to save the target for other tests. The SNARK, first of the intercontinental missiles to reach operational stage. simulating actual operation 